welcome to the channel. Um, it's a bank holiday Monday here in the UK and the sun is shining. We've even got the shorts on, which is uh, not a lot of times that happens over here. Today's video is going to be about an updated what's in the bag. Um, I've updated a few things, not much of it, a few clubs and the bag and stuff. So what we'll do is we'll go through what's in the bag as we play around the nine holes here at Avro. So bear with me. And we're going to tee off here on the second, and we'll pick his up on the next one. Right guys, so the first thing that we've changed in the bag is the ball. Well, we, last time we were using Titleist, this time we're using Bridgestones. Just felt like a change really, so we've just gone for the Bridgestone um, X, FIXX, if that means something I don't know. We just thought we'd have a change, go with the, uh, the Bridgestone balls. Hey guys, also in the bag, obviously, we've got the uh, the uh, GPS, which I did a review of the other day. I'll put a link to that review up now, so if you uh, missed that, you can have a quick look at it. That's the uh, Phantom GPS. Also, I think this is the most necessity thing you need in your bag, especially in the UK. Because all the midges are out, unless you're playing parkland courses like I do a lot. It's this. It's called Skin and Soft. This one is made by Avon. And all you do is spray it all over yourself, especially your legs, and the midges don't bite you. So that is worth putting in your bag. It may be in the States or in Australia, I don't know. It might be the same. It may stop you. Something like that. It's called Skin and Soft. And I'll put a link to the Avon website down below. Um, so we can look at buying it possibly. So the latest club or the newest club that I bought, again, I've stuck with the Ben Ross because it'll match the, the driver. I've also I've gone for there you go. You can see that the HTX compressor three wood. Um realize I wanted to keep it the same as what I've got. And again, this is a Cura Cage 60 gram. Regular flex Mitsubishi Rayon um, with a fancy little red thing at the bottom. Well, so that's the, the uh, three wood driver. We kept the same again with the Ben Ross and the HTX. Is it that way around? Could be that way around. There we go. The HTX compressor, and this one is 12 degrees. And again, it's the Curry Cage flat, uh, rat shaft with a 50 gram, 50 gram, 50 gram regular flex. So we kept the same on the hybrid. We've gone for Ben Ross again, and there's the Ben Ross V6 Escape. So that's the um, the big dogs. So we get further down and we'll go through the irons and what's left in the bag. Hi guys. So we're going to move on to the irons now. And the bad news is, I've just broke the tripod. So the irons have stayed the same. We've got the Ben Ross HTX's uh, Tourism, I think that's how you pronounce that. HTX's again. With a KBS Tour 90 shaft. And we've got these from 5 up to Pitching Wedge. So more or less the whole bag is the same, bar one club. So the one club that's different in the bag, a different make completely, will be the putter. Now I know what you're thinking. It's an Odyssey putter. Then you'd be wrong. It's actually... Yeah, there. It's the Ping Zing 2. Made in the good old USSA. By Carsten. Um, but I've just got a new grip on it, this Odyssey grip. Thought about upgrading to a new one, but it does the job, so there's no point in getting rid of it. So that's the bag. Right, so that's the bag updated. But the only thing we have updated, I'll have to check on the last video about the, um, the trolley. But we've updated, we've now got a Power Caddy electric trolley, not a new one. Quite a few years old, and I've also recently bought the Power Caddy bag, which fits 
one that fits on the trolley a lot better than a normal bag because it's got the two little holes at the bottom of the bag. So yes, we bought the power carry trolley and the power carry bag. So we've got three different things. We've got a ping, Ben Ross, power caddy. No OCD there. So um, yeah. Hi hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, just a little update there of the bag ready for this season. And also, I'll be wearing bag golf clothing as well this season because it's lovely and cool. Got a hat to match. I'll put a link to their website in the description as well for bag golf clothing. Um, excellent stuff there, reasonably priced as well compared to a lot of the shops where you'd be paying £45 for a polo shirt. So these guys don't charge you £45 for a polo shirt, so it's worth looking at. Hey guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll speak to you soon.